medicine. So today we begin with microbial series and we will start today from DNA viruses. And in this video we will start discussing the general scheme of DNA viruses and the general features of each virus or each family. Then I have been found uh, a good mnemonic for DNA viruses. I uh, will summarize all DNA viruses into six letters, which is 2H, 1A, 3B. If you confuse how many letters of each in this world, you can take it as alphabetical order. So, A is the first letter, yes? So, one letter of A. According to the sequence of alphabetical, uh, alphabetical sequence is H, yes? So, two letters of H. Then, three. According to the sequence is B, so three letters of B. So it's H B. You can remember it as H B. Two H one A three B. So then we divide these uh, six families according to the according to the envelope. There is non-enveloped viruses and there is non-enveloped and enveloped. Under enveloped family, uh, under enveloped groups. There is three viruses, and the rest for naked group. So, uh, under envelope there are hepatina viruses or hepatina viridae, herpes viridae, and box viridae. And under naked viruses, adenova adenovirus and barbova virus and barvo virus. So three here and three here. Three, three under envelope and the rest for naked. So now the general the general concept of DNA viruses that all of them have linear DNA code except except Barbova which have cir circular DNA or supercoid, supercoid, and plus also not, not only Babova out of rule, is only Hibadna. Hibadna. But Hibadna is not completely circular and double strand. No, it's actually circular, but it's not completely double strand. It's, it has two exceptions. We'll say it when we come for each specifically. So, then all of them have double strand DNA, yes, like this. Except Barvo. Barvo. Which have one single strand, like RNA viruses. Also, RNA viruses have also some exceptions, like rotavirus, which have double strand RNA. So, in each family, there is some exceptions. So, remember this exception of DNA virus, which have double, which have single strand. Then, all of them have a cosahedral shape, which is like this, like benzene ring, if you draw it like in two Ds, like benzene ring, except box viruses, which have brick shape, like this. And all of them also seen just only under electron microscope, except also box virus, because it's the biggest virus among all the DNA viruses and actually all of them also replicate in nucleus due to lacking of DNA dependent RNA polymerase except also box virus which replicate inside nucleus inside cytoplasm so we we'll see the inclusion body of this virus inside cytoplasm yes so Now we begin with each family. So if if we will say if we will try to image hibadna viruses, hibadna viridae, it will be ecosahedral, yes? Because all of them are ecosahedral except box. And we say that it's out of out of rule according to linear and double. So it will be actually it have a specific unique DNA shape, DNA code. It have 
of course, okay, it's circular at the end, yes, but it's not completely, it's not completely double strand DNA. Partially it's double strand DNA, but the other, the other part, which is the smaller part, is just single strand. They love to give you a shape of genetic code in your summary exams or in high yield exams and ask you which virus owns this genetic code, like this. And the answer is Hibadna virus. Under this family is just Hepatitis B virus, which is the only one from Hepatitis family on DNA genetic codes. So, remember this. And then, moving on to Herpes family. Herpes family have unique features also, of course. If we try to draw it or image it, it will be also a cosahedral. Of course, also, Hibata virus is enveloped, yes? Because we classify it as enveloped. So, uh, herpeto virus or herpes viruses uh, will have a linear strand, double strand, of course, of DNA, but, and of course, will have envelope. And don't forget the unique feature of this family that the only virus that take the envelope from nuclear from nuclear membrane. All other viruses take the envelope the, the take the envelope from the cell, cell membrane. So the only virus that take the envelope from nuclear membrane is herpes viruses. Moving on to box virus. So box virus we said already that is the biggest virus and visible under light microscope also, not, not just electron microscope. So, and we say that it have a unique shape, not a cosahedral, and, but brick shape. So, this would be the shape of box virus. And it have also a unique shape of DNA, which is dumbbell shape. And of course it will have an envelope. Uh, this, this virus also have two viruses, small box virus and Mollascum contagiosum, which we will discuss in detail when we talk about box viruses. And we have also in next videos to, to compare uh, box, box virus with chicken box virus, which is a member of herpes vi viruses because they have same like names, chicken box, small box and have same also features, most of them characterized by macules, babules, uh, bastules but we have to differentiate between them there's some features that we can by which easily differentiate already we say that box virus dif they replicate in cytoplasm and herpes viruses, all of them include chicken box replicate in nucleus. So this one differentiative feature. But there's more. We're gonna talk about it in the next videos. Now we are going moving on for DNA adenovirus. Adenovirus, sorry. So we say all of them are cosahedral, yes? So easily we can draw it. It's not out of rule because we remember the out of rule is box virus, yes? And all of them are linear except Barbova. And all of them are double, except barbo. So it's not out of rule. So it's just a cosahedral, double strand, and not enveloped because it's classified under naked viruses. But the specific thing about this virus that it on antennas. They like to give you this shape of virus with some symptoms in the in a high yield exams and ask you which virus is this. Easily, if you see antenna and double strand also just can be adenovirus, just adenovirus. So this about adenovirus. This antenna play function in toxicity, antigenicity and others. So <clears throat> moving on to Barbova virus. Barbova virus, we already said that it's circular, have circular circular code, yes? 
and it it on three sub subtypes of viruses or sub group subgroups, which is Babylonia and Bullyoma and vacuolating or SV, you can say just SV40 or vacuolating. So how to remember all the like members? It's Babova, yes? We have Babova, Babyloma, Bullyoma and vacuolating, which we'll discuss also in details in next videos. Just for now, remember that due to circular DNA uh, genetic codes, this virus on highly highly oncogenic highly oncogenic features. So this 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 uh, this virus is highly oncogenic, and all this all the subtypes also are 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 very oncogenic or oncogenic viruses. So. Of course, it will be a very dangerous uh, virus, and that's it. We'll discuss it in next videos. So, Barvo virus. We already said that it's a smallest virus, and it's not out of rule because all of them are cosahedral, and it's it's the only one that contains single strand of DNA, and it's not enveloped. And this is the smallest, so have the least capacity for uh, making proteins and enzymes. So it's highly dependent on uh, host cell. So let's let's agree on a rule. The more that the virus contain, like the less that virus contain uh, DNA, the less that have capacity to produce proteins and enzymes. So highly, so this virus will be highly dependent on host cell. And the only virus that infects the human from Barvo virus is B19. B19. And this family can cause a fifth disease called fifth, uh, fifth disease, yes, or erythema infectiosum. Uh, in, erythema infectiosum, which we will discuss in next video also. So, fifth disease we call it or erythema infectiosum there is six type of erythema so we'll go for the, we'll go for this in next videos thank you